What's going on guys, if you want to live stream in full HD on Facebook using OBS obviously, today I'm going to show you how to do that and we are starting right now. Just to let you know that I've been actually searching for the best settings to live stream in full HD on Facebook on the actual official page of Facebook. So far officially what we have is actually what's on this page that allows only gamers and the people who are part of their special gaming program to only live in full HD either 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. However, one of my subscribers actually reached out to me and told me he was already streaming in full HD and he was not a gamer. So I decided to test it and actually it works. By the way, my name is Sam and you're watching live production tips and tools. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to OBS. I've got my camera and I've got my microphone coming in, no problem. So I'm gonna go to settings. We're gonna go ahead and actually open settings. And the first thing we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to video. And here for video, what we need, your base canvas resolution, of course, it's going to be the resolution of your main monitor. So if you're gaming or whatever you're doing, if your monitor has 1080p resolution, that's what you're going to be using. If it's 720p, that's your base canvas resolution. If 4K, you're going to type in the actual resolution here. So for now, I've got a 1080p monitor, so I'm going to keep it this way. And for the output, resolution this is gonna be what we're gonna be sending to facebook right so it's gonna stay of course because we want to be streaming in 1920 by 1080p so we're gonna keep it like this we're not gonna change anything if we were live streaming in 720p then we will change it to 720p for the fps now for an average person who's not a gamer again gamers are average too Anyways, we're going to keep it at 30 frames per second should be enough. If you're gaming and you need to stream in 60 frames per second, that's a different game. You're going to need to choose 60 frames per second. But for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it at 30 frames per second. That should be it for the video tab. We're going to go ahead and actually go to the output tab. All right. And then for the output tab, you want to make sure you have the output mode set to advanced here you're gonna go to the streaming tab this is the one that we need the most you can go ahead and actually copy all my settings that i have here so encoder keep it the way it is core audio aac video encoder of course if you have a dedicated graphics card keep it an nvidia nvec h264 and for rescale output we don't need to check this part here because anyways we're gonna be streaming 1920 by 1080 so we don't need to change anything here so you can leave it unchecked here and then for encoder settings this is where the magic is going to happen we need to go to where it says rate control we need to make sure it's actually set to cbr all right and then for the bit rate we gotta make sure we have it set at 6000 kbps this is important i'm gonna go ahead and hit apply before we continue and i'm going to minimize obs and i'm gonna show you where i'm actually getting the information so as you can see facebook already has some settings for streaming in 1080p 30 frames per second they recommend of course 1920 by 1080p resolution and video bit rate range between 3000 to 6000 kbps so we want to make sure we take the maximum because that's where we're going to maximize the quality we're going to use of course you want to make sure you have enough internet bandwidth that's something that we're going to check in a minute but before we get to that if you were a gamer and you want to stream in 60 frames per second you can go up to 9000 kbps which is amazing but for us, again, we're going to keep it at 6,000. Before we go to OBS, I'm going to show you what you need to know before you decide if you're going to use 6,000. All right. So you want to go to Google and type in internet speed test. Just go ahead and hit run speed test. All right. Now, this is going to help you decide if you actually going to have enough bandwidth to support the 6000 that we just had put into obs so as you can see 400 and something download speed but for live streaming what you need to pay attention to is mostly your upload speed so as you can see i have 53.3 megabits per second upload speed which is really really good so the rule is actually try to get at least half of what you have available so if you have 50 
you can actually go up to 25. If you have 30, you can go up to 15. Now for Facebook, as you can see, we only need between three to six megabits per second or 3000 to 6000 kilobits per second. So that means we have plenty of internet speed. All right. We're going to go back to settings, of course, to output, and we're going to keep it at 6000 kbps now for keyframe interval we're gonna keep it at 2s that's what facebook recommends everything else you can keep it the way it is tuning high quality you can just go ahead and copy whatever i have here and gpu zero max b frames you can keep it at two so everything should be the way you guys seeing seeing it here really the most important part is your rate control cbr and make sure your bit rate if you can afford if you have enough bandwidth now if you don't have enough you can still use anywhere between three thousand and six thousand all right and that's pretty much it for audio we can go ahead and actually check audio but for audio you can actually use track one audio beat rate 160 should do the job no problem everything else you should leave it the way it is you don't really have to change that much once you're done of course before we hit okay we're gonna go ahead and go to stream okay this is the last part here now as you can see where it says service, you may be tempted to actually choose the Facebook Live preset that comes with OBS. You can use it, but in my opinion, I like to go to custom because that's where you have the control. And what we're gonna need, we're gonna need the server and the stream key from Facebook. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and actually hit apply. All the settings are actually saved. And then we're gonna hit okay. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to my Facebook page right here and hit live video, all right? On the live video here, we're gonna go here where it says go live. So we're gonna hit go live. And of course, we're gonna go down here where it says streaming software. That's going to be the option that we're going to choose. As you can see, you have two options where it says select a video source. Instead of using webcam, we need to actually choose streaming software. If you go to advanced here, you're going to see that you have a stream key here. And of course, you have your server URL. OK, copy your server URL. OK, and then we're going to go back to settings in OBS and then we're going to go to stream. And then again, service, make sure it's on custom server URL, paste it in here, hit apply, hit OK, and go back to Facebook again, go to where it says stream key, hit copy, and we're going to go to OBS and hit settings and then go to stream again. And then you want to make sure you delete whatever is there and then right click, paste our new stream key hit apply and hit OK. So now we should be able to go live on Facebook in full HD. So we're going to go ahead and actually hit start streaming. And as you can see, we have the signal coming from OBS. No problem. There you go. So as you can see, the quality, it says that we are live streaming. Of course, we got full HD, 1080p, 360p if you want or automatic. All right. So for us, we want to make sure we preview it in 1080p. The next step is right here where it says, what's your live video about your post details. And when you click there, it's going to ask you to add the title. So live stream in 1080. As you can see now, I have a button for me ready to hit. This button here is going to appear. And as soon as I hit go live, I'm going to be able to go live. All right. So usually when there's a problem, Facebook is going to give you some error messages. At this point, as you can see, the video is playing. No problem. I'm doing some stuff here, typing. And as you can see, it's not cropped in or anything. All right. Everything looks good. No problem. If I go back to OBS, you can see it's exactly the same video that I'm sending from OBS. Full HD. No problem. Same thing here. Settings. Boom. Quality 1920 by 1080p which is amazing. So guys, if I hit go live, I don't want to go live, of course, because it would be just weird. I'm just recording this video. But as soon as you hit the go live button here, you're going to be able to go live on your page, personal Facebook profile, or it could be in a Facebook group anywhere on Facebook. 
you can actually be able to go live in full hd no problem so guys let me know if you have been doing this or if you haven't done this i know most platforms are going to default you in 720p because again there's no official statement from facebook i haven't seen it maybe somewhere there that allows you to swim in 1080p full hd most people are going to watch on their phones anyways so you could still stream in 720p especially if you don't have a bandwidth and you actually don't care maybe about full hd so if you want to check out i have another video that i made that shows you the best settings to actually stream on facebook if you want to still kind of keep the 720p the old 720p i've got a video and i'm gonna have it linked here for you to watch but other than that i have another video that walks you through everything how to set up obs to be able to go live on facebook that should be linked right here and i will see you guys there take care